Hi, I'm Grandma Party. Hi, I'm Husky Hog. Oh my god. We have so <laughs> many Husky Hogs now. What is this, like version 5? I think you're like version 8 of Husky Hog. Hey, Claudio. What's, uh, what's going on, man? I, you know, just enjoying my day off. Beautiful sun, awesome scent of burgers in the area. It's a pretty nice town, man. Yeah, Frankton's all right. Days off at the record store must be great. I never work retail, but I imagine it blows. Oh, well, I don't really work at the record store. I own it. Didn't you know? You own it? What? Yeah, I own all the record stops. I opened the first one when I was 19, about nine years ago. My grandfather passed away and left me a bit of money. I put the money down, got a business loan, and the rest is history. Every time you buy a record, I see some profits. Pretty sweet deal if I do say so myself. I had no idea. No wonder you have such a tubular ride, man. <laughs> living the dream, Alex. Living the dream. So what's up, man? What are you up to today? Well, I wanted to ask you if you'd drive when we go to look for the android. Rory put up a post on Anna's in 1999 about it, and apparently sightings have been flooding in. Once we get a credible hit, you down to go? Yeah, sure. Sounds good. That was smart, Rory. Have you seen him around? No. I wonder if he went back home yesterday. No idea. Make sure you let me know when you- Apparently in a medical van. I- Yeah. Okay. I mean, Volkswagen van could have been cooler? No, this is like a creepy van. Oh, okay. Not a cool van. I mean, any van with a dead person inside is gonna be a little creepy. True, true. God, such- such good equipment. Yes. I mean, you gotta have the guy who's into, uh, God, what is it? What's the one with the sword? Kendo. Yeah, I like that I have, like, Kendo and also, like, k training katanas, like, two separate things. Is there a difference? No, not really. <laughs> then what did I pay all this money for? <laughs> it sounds cool. Mmm, I'm upset now. I mean, you, you made a very good choice purchasing whatever you did. Oh, that ball graphic, that's good. Oh, yeah, we're... <laughs> Man, I don't know if I pick something up. I usually pick up the ball every chance I get. Because in my head, I'm challenging everyone to play ball. Uh, what? I'm a cool guy. You are a cool guy, playing ball with people. Good sports. When are we going to throw down on the court? Ah, uh, you name a time and place and fly to be closer to where I'm at. We'll make it happen. Okay. How about Vegas? Vegas. Vegas. We're throwing down. Done. Done. Stakes? Ooh. Yes, steak bets. Mm -mm. What's your steaks? Oh, I was thinking like steaks for steaks. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, I'm down for this. One game of <laughs> horse, winner gets a steak. <laughs> I have not played basketball since like third grade, maybe. <laughs> you got no game. No, none at all. It's going to be great. Hot dog, I'm getting a steak. I'm caught. No, I'm going to beat you. I'm going to practice. Hey man, what's up? So, Rory put up a thread on Anna's in 1999 looking for the van that has the android. You down to go look for it once we get a credible hit? Yeah, just let me know when. Okay, I'm gonna go check out the post again. In about an hour and a half, let's meet up at Burger Joint. Claudio has this van there and he's ready to go once we pick a place to hit up. Okay, sounds good. I'll let the others know. Oh, do you have Rory's number? I tried messaging him on Anism, but haven't gotten a hit yet. Nah, never bothered to get it. We can swing by and pick him up on the way if we want. That's a good idea. He was pretty bummed yesterday when I last saw him. But she's a very good girl. No, she's not thick at all. <laughs> According to her doctor, she is, so she's not that. She got that yeah. tiny little face. That's true. Tiny face, big booty. Oh, so she tried to look thin, but she's so dummy thick she clap and the vet finds out. Exactly, exactly. David Hader can vouch for her. Do me a favor. Tell me what happened. We, tell the people what happened. We went to the dog park this year. Oh, um, we made some terrible choices and definitely brought not one, but two cans of fermented fish flown all the way from somewhere in Northern Europe, I can't remember, and definitely opened them in the dog park, and I had a piece. It was bad. 
is real bad. I was going to go with Asuka and I had a race and she got smoked like a blunt. That's true. She was pretty fast last year, two years ago? Yeah. I'll give you that. She was. I got smoked last year. This is true. But yeah, getting getting covered in fermented fish kind of stands out in my mind for that trip. You remember like when we opened the can, it sprayed everywhere. Oh yeah, I was the one opening it. <laughs> yeah, and then we were walking away like another dog found the stains. And <laughs> so bad. We're like, no start- dog, no. It just started rolling in it. Oh, that dog was so happy. I finally went into the pawn shop people wanted me to go into. Ooh, they got some Wait. good stuff. Not it. It's not all. Because there's something here we need. Some salts. No, we don't need any salts. We don't need research chemicals. <laughs> it's the rare pog. Ooh, the rare po. Pog, you say? Pog. That's an expensive ass pog. Dang. I mean, it might be exp- It might be worth it. I bet it is worth it. I don't know why I'm buying equipment for Sweet Baby Rory because I can't use him in my party anymore. <laughs> Poor Sweet Baby Rory. No, I, as soon as I finish Final Fantasy X, I'm going to do Final Fantasy XII, and we're going to go into the assumption that Pinello is dead. But, I mean, to be fair, at least one person is dead secretly in every Final Fantasy game. It's Isn't true. That, yeah. I hope she's not part of my party the entire game, because every time she's in there, I'm going to attack her until she faints. Aww. And then just leave her like that. Poor little lady. Wait. Listen. Beer in a treasure chest? That that seems gross. I. It's not because she's a lady. It's because her hair is awful, and I hate it. It is. It is a very bad hairdo. Yeah. Hey, hair don't act like that. Uh, I've just been hanging out, thinking about the android. So that's your thing, right? You wander around all pensively, thinking about unobtainable women? Wow. I never thought of it that way. Holy cow. Easy there. I was only kidding. Do you have any leads on it? Not really. I was thinking we should all get together and talk through what we know so far. Bella pointed out that I don't know you and your brother so well, so I thought I'd change that. What would you like to know? I'll let you ask two questions. You want to know about my outfit? <laughs> okay. You're strange, Alex Eagleston. But I'll bite. Last Christmas, me, Claudio, and my parents went to Japan for Claudio's birthday. We stayed in Nakashibitsu with my dad's co-worker. His parents left him their house when they passed away. We stayed there from mid-December to mid-January. I remember feeling scared arriving in Japan. I knew the culture shock was going to be one thing, but I didn't really know what it meant to immerse myself in another culture. The first two weeks, I hung with my parents while Claudio wandered around, coming back each night with crazy stories about the girls he was meeting and the fun he was having. That's the amazing thing about my brother. Even in a small town like Nakashibitsu, he can find people to inspire. His happiness is infectious sometimes. Doesn't help he's such a nerd. I'm a bit of a shy person, you know? But eventually I realized that people are the same in every country. I made a friend. Her English was terrible. Even worse than my Japanese. So we started hanging out. And long story short, she bought me this on the last day of our trip. Really, Alex? I let you ask me any two questions in the world, and you ask me about my dead brother. Look. I'm more than that terrible thing that happened to my family. I really am. I don't want to sound rude, but I don't understand what you expect from me. Am I supposed to continuously tell you how horribly upset I am over the whole thing? I am. It ruined my life for a long time. But I had to move on. I was a kid when that happened. Seriously, man, no way to hold your tongue. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. You know, I have a sister. I don't think about her nearly enough. I swear, half the time I forget I have one. But she's a lot like you. Easy to talk to, funny, a bit mean. She's smart like you, too. Very philosophical. Where is she? Who knows? I can't remember.
She lives in Canada. Hasn't seen her for 15 years. Mm hmm. Oh, this is a nice arcade. I'm so mad I can't play any of these games considering how many mini games are in this damn game. How could they not put in DDR? That's just terrible. Yeah, it's just hit the arrows to the beat. It can't be that bad. Yeah. Lazy. Ugh. There is a Discord for this game full of very sad boys. Aw, those poor boys. They're all hunting for the third ending, which I guarantee you is not in the game yet. It's not real. They'll patch it in. That's basically what they said. Yeah. I was trying to have your husband find this man at PAX East. And just, like, grab him. Some game developers are hard to find, and also most of them are pretty introverted, so getting them out in public is a very challenging task. Yeah, but they have to work their booth. True. You have to be there. True. Um, some of the time. You can make the excuse that you're taking interviews, and that's why you're totally not at your booth, ever. Have you been to PAX? I've been to PAX East, not... Or, sorry, West, not East. How bad does PAX West smell? Eh, like, a little bit better than your average anime convention. Um, most video game events spring for, like, proper AC, and they have good ventilation, so it's not, not as bad as nice. anime convention. So better than QuakeCon. Oh, awesome! Everyone's QuakeCon here. is his own special smell. So where to? You don't go to the dark... You don't go to the dark parts of QuakeCon. Yeah, if you're in a giant room full of PCs and people just sitting there all weekend, it's going to be bad. Yeah, I can see that. I just, I do kind of miss going and seeing the giant sculptures of balls, like glassware, all over the place. Wait, what? What? They had, like, they used to make these, like, intricate, like, maybe not sculptures, but, like, stackings of, like, balls and, like, the quake symbol and all this stuff, because... I think Ball sponsored it, so they had just, like, thousands of glass bottles they didn't know what to do with. <gasps> I don't know what this thing is, but I hate it. Okay. It's a spooky ghost. I think it's some, some, some kind of ghost anus. I could see that. Uh -oh. I mean, that, that's what mine would look like. With little angry eyes. You should draw that on for, like, fun, sexy times. I feel like that would spice things up. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. She's been trying to shuck that boister for years. Ooh. Yuck. It's yick. Oh, excuse me, yick. <laughs> mm -mm. No, every time I do something I'm not supposed to do, Catherine looks at me and crooks a finger, and I'm just like, mm -mm. <laughs> With mm -mm. her perfectly manicured nails. Yeah. Her nails are fantastic. They are. They very I don't know how she does it. So is Beatrice the android lady? Living her vagabond life. She is not. Who Beatrix is, is. It's Alex and the gang. More like Chandra and the gang. You think you're that important, don't you? It's Chandra and the gang. We're gonna go check out some of the leads on that weird van. You wanna come with us? Uh, yeah, I'm down. Just let me get dressed. And picks it up and eats it while you're watching. That's what <laughs> she did. Lunch. Yeah, yeah. And you just went. That's your lunch. Ugh. Oh god, this see, this is really bad. Oh no. Oh yeah, because you know I've given you the lecture about how an actual person's death was used in this, right? Yes. Mm, they decide to exhume that corpse and just kind of flog it a little bit. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. They go, oh, we haven't talked about this enough. Games have gone too far. Just this one. Do you guys see a van? I don't see anything. Yo, you want to hear a screwed up story? Yeah, what's up? You see that water tower up there? About a week after Sammy Pack went missing, people in my town started complaining about the color and taste of the water. My house wasn't affected because we have a well. So the water company opens up the tower and they find the body of a girl. She has no clothes on and she's been in there for days. What's really screwed up is she was locked in there. You can't really lock yourself in a water tower when the water is five feet from the lock, even more so when the lock is on the outside. So police came in and they rule it an accident. So some girl accidentally climbs on top of a water tower, picks the lock, jumps five feet into the water, then manages to lock herself in from the outside. Yeah, I buy it. 
you serious? How the hell was this not on the news? It was. Headlines read, small town tear, unclean drinking water. Somehow these lazy jerks at the news stations managed to turn what was most likely a horrific murder into a gross story that focused more on the quality of drinking water than about an actual person. How did she get up to the water tower? I don't see a ladder. Ah, that's what I was forgetting. A logical person would deduce that they removed the ladder so it wouldn't happen again. This is where it gets really creepy. There was never any ladder. And you'd need a really big ladder. So some crazy murderer with a big ladder could still be hanging around out here? Yeah, probably. I made a post about this on Honest in 1999, but we were never able to figure it out. What's even more screwed up is they never identified the body. Poor girl. Again, and people are like, oh, are you going to go check out WonderCon? And da, 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 da. I was like, no. Any con new content I'll just watch on YouTube. And I've been to enough Comic-Cons to like never want to wait in line again. Thank you. I refuse. Life is too short. Yeah. Besides, do you just wait in line, you get your picture, and you leave? Yeah, or you, you wait in line to watch a panel that will be online in a couple of hours anyway. I have only ever tried to watch one panel in my life. Which was? I got dragged to Dragon... We went to Dragon Con the same year. Oh, yeah. Right? And there was one panel called Raising Children in a Poly Family... <laughs> and I was there with my now wife and her sister, and I said, we're going in here. Both of y'all lock arms with me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that at Dragon Con, like, you can do that, won't get any glances, and also walk in with, like, a bucket of rum, and they're like, yeah, this is normal. This is fine. The problem was, I couldn't get in. It was already full. <laughs> oh, no. I take it back. I did try to go to one panel at GDC, which was the day one of three how to be a freelancer in the games industry um it was it, there was a wait there was a line of like 20 people outside and they said the room was full 10 minutes before the panel started oh that sucks because everyone's a freelancer yay boo so where to that's awful i'm sorry yeah go into the reservoir 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 I'm sure they'll find someone who drowned in it for us to gawk at. Lovely. A game of utmost taste. What? How, what's like the dead body count on screen for this game? Mm, one. One? Okay. Just one. Well, damn. I'm guessing that van floating out there is supposed to be... Oh, no. Oh, no. What do you think the van smells like? Uh, I, I vaguely know the smell of like rotting wet things from many floods in texas so oh no no oh no that's so deep why why is he doing this needs a bath oh that guy's way too excited yes listen everyone wanted to see him take a dunk his friends are appropriately mean to him would you even call it we i mean every group of friend has that yeah I'm that in our group of friends. Oh no. Drink the beer. No. Drink the beer. No, it's wet. You think they would drive their like all-terrain vehicle out to the thing? Uh Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, we got a sick house car. Guess what? Oh, we don't move my... any faster. Oh. <laughs> I love it's it. Hang out. But I did try to send your husband to find the Yik men at uh, PAX East. <laughs> Can't believe he didn't find it. He did find the EDF guy. I know. Oh, man. I would love to get a picture with the EDF dude. EDF. I would love to do an EDF LP. <gasps> That'd be fun. You'd have to get real drunk. Yeah. I regret not getting another beer for this terrible game. <laughs> I can't do it. You know what I'm like <gasps> when I'm drunk. Yes. Look. It's another anus. one of those anuses. Anus. Anus. Hi, scabs. Aww. Kitty. Kitty. Great. Kitty Thanks. loves ghosts. Only cats can see ghosts. Mm-hmm. That's true. Oh, my. Uh, we have a haunted elevator in my building. What? Yeah. What happened? Um, it will open whenever I walk close to it and without pressing the button. Also, the elevator's like 125 years old, so it's not like a fancy motion sensor, and it's only one out of the two elevators in the bay. Nice. 
So yeah. Is there a is there a black mat in front of it? No. So where to? Okay. Then it's not an automated door. No, and it definitely will like open a little bit before I walk up to it. Like it'll think it knows that I need it. So it'll like I'll open my door, get halfway to the elevator, and hear it open and then the doors close really quickly. And I'm like, oh damn, wrong timing or bad timing. But sometimes it'll just open when I need it. Other times it gets stuck and the door doesn't open and then we're stuck in the elevator. So whose death can we blame the uh, ghost elevator on? Ooh, I don't know. I'm sure there's a lot of people that have died in this building. I was going to say, we'll just utilize one of their deaths like they do in this game. Yeah. Uh, I guess it could be like Grandpa. Oh, Grandpa. More likely it's one of the many people that lived in Skid Row from the 60s to 10 years ago before this area got cleaned up. Yeah, probably. It's just haunted by hobo ghosts. Yeah, hobo ghosts. Oh no, it's his buried treasure. What do you think it is? <gasps> um, a picture of his beloved Beatrice. Oh, I was gonna go with a bunch of cans of beans. Oh, uh, beans would be way better. No, jump, no they're jump. not. I'm not gonna jump. Oh. <laughs> God damn. No, you sit here and you wait. Ah. Uh. So you have to like time and jump on the panda? Is that is that what's going on here? Mm mm. It's just really bad hit detection. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I'm trying to think what the yeah. I'm gonna go with a can of beans, and it's no treasure because I had to drink one recently. Oh no. Not good. Beans, beans. Oh. No, yeah, that's exactly what it did. I couldn't sleep. I was passing so much gas. Oh no. Why do you do this to yourself? I'm a masochist. You should play Sekiro. Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. Pass. Actually, Hack and Slash is trying to get me to play Sekiro, and I'm like, no. I'm bad at this. I would watch someone play it for an hour and then probably get too tired just to like even experience that. That's why LPs are for. Yeah. I use them for games that I would never play. Or that I probably should play, but don't have the time to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now with this, you're forcing yourself to play a game. That no one should ever play or buy. They should watch the LP and not give these people money. Ever. So, do we just walk up to it? I guess so. Maybe I'll just knock on the back and ask if there are any androids being held captive. Sounds amazing. It's bad. How awkward is it? Uh, actually, it's, it's okay. It's not that awkward. Oh, no. Yep. Yep. It's that kind of game. The flasher. Mm-mm. I mean, this is not a difficult game. Thank goodness you're dodging it. Like, yeah. I mean, he's mainly there to give you a stroke. Ugh. But I'm too far away to reach. A. A. Stupid. Welcome to 90% of how I play this game. <laughs> and everything dies. Oof. I like it. It makes it go faster. You actually found quite a bit of money. I did not want to see that. I did not want to see eh. that. Money is useless. Everything is useless. This is true. Nihilism. Nihilism. Is yes. <laughs> All existence is useless. Yes. Whenever I'm feeling upset about something, I'm just like, you know what? Nihilism. None of this matters. Just be like the Marie Kondo of burning stuff. <laughs> When nothing matters, burn it down. I've tried to burn a textbook. Let me tell you what. Wait, That's the real quick. I'm going to say it. You've made it through another one. Thank you so much. <gasps> Yay.